the UN GPs are clear that all businesses have an integral responsibility to respect human rights and that in order to do so, they are required to exercise human rights due diligence to identify, prevent, mitigate and account for how they address impacts on human rights. To fulfill this responsibility, businesses must have in place a policy commitment to respect human rights, mechanism to assess human rights impacts and processes to enable the remediation of any adverse human rights impacts. Human rights due diligence is important as it enables businesses in showing that they are respecting human rights in practice. It also helps businesses in maximizing their contributions to society and improving stakeholder relationships. It is a key process which enables businesses to identify, prevent, mitigate and account for how they address actual and potential adverse impacts on human rights. It exclusively focuses on business operations, supply chains and other business relationships. In implementing HRDD, the issue of supply chain oversight has found mention globally. Concerns include how far down a supply chain must due diligence reach? How can a company have leverage over a supplier many tiers down the supply chain? How can a company possibly assess a supply chain that in many cases comprises several tiers of suppliers? To understand this, let us look at the key steps in applying human rights due diligence to a supply chain. Assessing the supply chain Carefully assess the entire chain to find out the areas where human rights risks are likely to occur. Acting on the findings, based on the assessment, immediately stop all those activities that are causing or contributing to adverse human rights impacts. Tracking responses. Once appropriate actions have been taken, start tracking the implementation and effectiveness of your own due diligence activities. Communicating about how impacts are addressed Communicate about the due diligence efforts with those who may be affected by the business's products and services. Provide for or cooperate in remedy in case of actual adverse impacts. Undertake legitimate judicial or non-judicial remediation mechanisms like setting up effective grievance mechanisms, apologies, rehabilitation, financial or non-financial compensation. HRDD is now gaining traction with some elements being incorporated in legal frameworks. There is now a growing momentum globally amongst governments to require businesses to undertake human rights due diligence. Some examples include In the post-COVID world, an effective human rights due diligence framework will facilitate dialogues between businesses and stakeholders and can give insight on the stakeholder's perception of the business, all the while enhancing the accountability of businesses through publicly documenting the impacts identified as well as the responses to address these impacts.